I couldn't have said it better myself. Hi there, welcome. I previously, and you'll find a link at the top there, did a review of the Mystic Marshall 5-3 wetsuit. Here is that wetsuit, it's inside out at the moment. I wanted to give you more detailed thoughts of the wetsuit, the quality of it, etc. So first of all, from the inside, you can see there's loads of um, taping to seams, which is good news. And you can probably see that this thick sort of woolen lining, this heated lining almost, the thermal lining goes a hell of a long way down, even below the knees. So you get plenty of that, but what's it like in the water? Well, I've taken this out now six, six times in December in Cornwall. So the air temperature was around about three degrees. In fact, there was frost on the beach one day when I was in the water and the sea temperature they reckon was 11. What was it like? It wasn't as good as I'd hoped to be honest. And let me just go through the, the things that I don't, don't like about it. Well, first of all, on the back of the wetsuit, this is a back entry zip, a zip entry, back entry wetsuit. They've got this flap that comes up inside, if you can imagine, goes over your head. This is inside. And the idea being that that goes up there on the inside of the zip to prevent any water getting in through the back and give your back protection and stuff like that and getting through the zip but the trouble is it doesn't really work very well so if you look at the neck on the wetsuit the, the neck is a what I call a very basic neck um, it's neoprene it's got a it's got a sort of slick inside it didn't rub me at all but then I did have a, a thermal um, rash vest on um, but it, when you fold it up it didn't quite it just uh, it's not a very good seal on the neck of the wetsuit and you find yourself that with this bit here there's almost a bit of a flap sticking out of the back which almost wants to gather water you've got to spend a lot of time making sure that wetsuit neck seals properly and makes it make sure it's as smooth as you can and also make sure that this gubbins inside is also flat because if you don't you get a ridiculous amount of flushing through the neck and people will say well you get that with back entry zipped wetsuits well, you don't on any of the O'Neill's or Billabongs I've had but on this one you do so it's not as good a quality as far as that's concerned I'm also questioning whether or not you get any entry through the zip let me show you with this turned the right way around here's the wetsuit turned the right way around now there's the back of the wetsuit there okay and I just move the camera down slightly zipper up there so you've got that zipper up there and then inside you can probably just see inside the zip is this this area that I'm on about they've got this that's quite nice they've got a nice little place there where you can um, fix the velcro which is quite good that goes around but the whole thing to me it's not a good enough neck the neck isn't good enough and I'm not sure if the zips that good either to be honest because why am I getting so much flushing in? I mean, it looks okay, but I don't know. I'm getting a lot of water flushing into there. They've got um, holes at the bottom of this section. So this is between this sort of, I don't know what you call it, this fillet in behind and the outside. So water, if it does go in that area, can flush out through there. But this is saying to me that they're expecting loads of water in that area. So it's ridiculous. Um, it's almost like you've got a leaking tin roof and the solution is to put a bucket in the in the, on the floor well get a decent seal to the get a decent neck and the water won't get in there but instead oh hang on we get the water in through the neck i don't we'll do we'll put this thing on the inside not very good the other thing that they do as well is on the bottom here on the bottom of the legs there's a little um a little band there you can effectively it comes with a band a strap you can put around the neck the leg and the idea being that you can um tighten that up and there's little holes just above that in the leg, so you can tie that up. So it's meant to help present, prevent water flushing through. Well, cut it out of the source. Don't end up putting straps on the bottom to prevent water coming out. It'll all build up. Those holes there do let some water out in fairness. But in my mind, I'm getting water in a wetsuit where I don't want to get water. Now, when I was wearing this in the sea, 
and you come out you can see there are some areas which are not getting wet at all so in some areas on the chest for example and in certain areas maybe on, on the shoulders you're still warm and from a from a point of view of warmth in the water um, the the wetsuit is really a wetsuit of two halves what you've effectively got is the top half which is three millimeter is okay but because the water's flushing through you feel the top half of your body's cold the bottom half's on the five mil and it's got that thermal lining you get the feeling the bottom half of your body's really warm so in totality you can be out for a couple of hours without any bother but it's a new sensation to me getting used to having a part of my body hot and a part of my body cold when my old O'Neill Epic which is a on theoretically a cheaper wetsuit I don't get any of that I don't get flushing through the neck I don't get um, a feeling of different parts of the wetsuit being cold um, so it's disappointing now next up is customer service so I got this from the wetsuit outlet and all they said to me was you need to send us photographs of the um, defects in the wetsuit I'm saying well, there's no defects in the wetsuit the wetsuit is um, fine in what it is it's just a poor design of wetsuit so thumbs down there to wet wetsuit outlet for not really helping me out as far as that's concerned because if I send them photos they're just gonna say the wetsuits fine and then next up I contacted mystic themselves no reply now when I've dealt with um, not issues but changing wetsuits with people like Billabong in the past they've been very helpful and sorted out that instantly um, these guys mystic it's a mystery um, to me really in terms of um, customer service so would I recommend the wetsuit no is the straight answer will I persevere with it yes will I keep my old eight year old O'Neill epic because it's actually a better wetsuit I will for really cold weather so if I go into the spring in Jan Feb and March I'll be wearing that wetsuit I would perhaps wear this one in November and December time um, it's a disappointment so there you go that is the mystic Marshall wetsuit it gets a two out of five star for me it's nowhere near as good as I hoped it would be this would retail for about 280 normally I got it for about 200 quid it ain't worth it is the, is the truth folks um, there's a few nice touches um, but you expect I expect something better catch you guys on a wetsuit smash group flip side I couldn't have said it better myself.